Dr. Abhishek Kapoor, Group CEO, Purvankara Limited. Uh, you know, we'll continue our chat. Uh, Abhishek, you know, I want to quickly first off understand from you. Uh, firstly, welcome. Good morning. Um, Good morning. Let me understand from you how demand is playing out currently. Because uh, the last we spoke, you spoke about very robust demand. You spoke about execution being uh, something that you all are looking at uh, very actively. Uh, and that's basically the focus has shifted towards execution given the kind of demand that there is. Uh, is demand really holding up? And how is pricing shaping up for you? Harsh, uh, as an industry, I can share with you, I think demand is continuing to hold up. Uh, the challenge really is on the supply side, as I mentioned earlier, uh, to bring in new launches and the supply is, is still continues to be a challenge in most of the markets that we operate in. Um, I would expect now with the festive season that the demand will be better than the first quarter and then going forward the third and the fourth quarter definitely will be a a, a better uh, quarter as it is you know annually because that's the general real estate cycle especially in residential for us uh, most of the demand uh, really comes in the third and fourth quarter so i think the industry is looking forward to the festive season Right, um, Abhishek Mahima also joining in. Um, you know, um, you have a couple of flats, a couple of flats in a pipeline. I want to understand what is happening on the execution side um, of things. And overall, in FY25, uh, what kind of um, overall execution timeline are you looking at? Mahima, thank you. Um, so, you know, as far as execution is concerned, last quarter we delivered about a million plus square foot. Our goal this year is to deliver over a 4 million square foot, and that's a target we are working towards. Um, and uh, we believe that as we increase our launches, uh, for example, last year we sold more than 7 million square foot. Uh, this year we are launching about 17 million square foot, of which about 12 million square foot is uh, new launches and 4 million plus is uh, from the previous fa previous uh, phases of previous launches. So uh, we expect that the delivery will continue to pick up in the coming years uh, and that continues to be our focus and of course that is resulting into the cash flows and collections because if you see now our quarterly run rate of collections has gone over a thousand crores uh, and we will continue to see that trend improving. Got it. And how is the execution pipeline looking? Is Q2, Q3, Q4 pretty much balanced in terms of execution? Or do you believe that a lot of it will be back-ended towards second half of this year? Look, uh, the first quarter, as I said, over a million square foot, uh, we're expecting the second, second quarter to be pretty much similar in nature. Uh, a lot of delivery will happen in the fourth quarter for sure. Uh, third quarter, uh, we will see where we land because it's also a question of, uh, you know, how many um, occupation certificates we are able to get upon completion because we have to go through plethora of, uh, uh, you know, approvals in terms of completion before we start the handing over process. And from the date we get the OC, there is a process also of handing over. Um, while I say that, I must tell you that, uh, you know, we have about 32 million square foot under production and we continue to focus on that entire 32 million square foot and on an ongoing basis if you look at our burn rate uh, you know our uh, quantum of money spent on operations that is continuing to scale up which basically means that eventually this uh, product which is currently being constructed and the money being spent on will come to delivery all right and um, abhishek uh, in q1 we saw that provident segment had a significant increase of bookings but the lux luxury segment sees some did see some kind of decline so uh, what is the kind of strategy that you are adopting uh, which is the kind of segment that you're focusing on one thing and what are the kind of trends overall that you're uh, you know observing in the market See, you know, uh, our uh, demand as we see it is pretty much homogeneous across all categories, whether it is mid mass or luxury category. Uh, in fact, in the first couple of quarters, we have had robust performance uh, uh, from Provident also on the back of the new launches that we have had in Provident. Uh, we are expecting the launches to come through in Purvankara uh, in the coming quarters. As I said, the challenge really is more on the launch side and the supply side. And as those launches kick in, you will see a fairly balanced uh, uh, growth in both the numbers, uh, including Purva Land. Uh, you know, we continue to focus on that product as well. Uh, so, you know, uh, we have an annual goal. I think we have shared the fact that we are going to launch about 17 million square foot. Our goal will be to make sure that we are on target there. Mm. 
and uh, what's the target with regard to overall uh, collections for uh, FY25? How are we shaping up there? Uh, like I mentioned, you know, our annual, our quarterly run rate is about a thousand. So, you know, we are at least at 4,000 for sure. Mm -hmm. But you add to that uh, uh, new launches, I'm sure you will see much better collections. We intend to continue to grow the collections. Of course, operations and delivery will also help. Uh, so we will continue to see upward momentum in the collection, especially in the third and the fourth quarter as we do the new launches. Right. And what about realizations? So you're talking about such robust demand uh, continuing. Uh, do you therefore uh, is is there a continued uptick where realizations is concerned and how much of an uptick really because the base is getting higher now look i think you know as an industry uh, we've been very consistent in the price increase now specifically in our last couple of quarters uh, my sense is uh, uh, that we would we would be uh, expecting a price increase of you know, single digits, uh, in more inflation linked. I would expect it to be average industry uh, escalation of 8 to 9% annually. But from project to project basis, you will see different price increases in different micro markets. I think that's where the uh, that's where the nuance is. Uh, but as soon as Purvankara and Provident and Purva land is concerned, uh, you know, again, uh, it's more a factor of mix of inventory that we are bringing to the market and mix of inventory that is getting sold. And therefore, you will see, uh, while on an individual project level, you will see continued appreciation. But on an overall realization level, you will see, depending on the mix of inventory that we bring to the market, on, on how the average realization moves. For example, you know, if you look at Purva land, typically our realizations are any bit, anywhere between 3,000 rupees to 5,000 rupees a square foot. Whereas in Provident, it would be somewhere around 8,000 and Purvankara will be 10,000 plus average realization. So depending on the mix and volumes that you sell, you will see the uh, overall average moving. Uh, however, on a project level basis, you will continue to see the uh, realization go up. All right. And um, in terms of debt, you know, your net debt has uh, seen a slight uptick in Q1 um, as compared to Q4. Um, I, I want to understand that what are your plans with respect to managing these debt levels and where will the debt level be at by the end of FY25? Look, as I mentioned, uh, you know, our debt, we are expecting to keep it at similar levels. Our goal is uh, on a per square foot basis to be uh, uh, to keep the debt under 1000 rupees a square foot of area under development. And we'll continue to target that number uh, and on an absolute number, maintain it at similar levels. Uh, it may marginally go up and then may come down depending on, you know, the transactions that we are doing because it's a constant process of churn of debt uh, because debt is getting constantly repaid as well as we are doing also new acquisitions. So, uh, you know, it will be a consistent churn, but we will, our target is to keep it at similar levels by the end of the year. Hmm. Okay. And with regard to geographies, of course, new launches you've spoken about, but what's talk to us about the next three years right uh, what's the kind of thought process you're looking at, uh, looking at is it going to be more focused on bangalore uh, kochi chennai and the like or are you going to move towards uh, a pune or a mumbai and beyond Look, that's pretty much reflective of what's happening currently in the acquisition. I mean, if you see our last, uh, this this calendar year acquisitions, uh, you know, we have done acquisition in Thane in Mumbai. Uh, we have signed up uh, in Lokanwala. In fact, we've just added four more societies in Lokanwala. Uh, we have just announced a project in uh, South Mumbai, our first project in Breach Candy. Um, uh, we have also been a appointed as a preferred developer in Pali Hill. Uh, if you look at, uh, you know, the quantum of investments that's happening in the West clearly indicates that in future, we will have significant contribution coming in from the West. While we continue to consolidate and announce our acquisitions in, in South, for example, uh, we have acquired two projects in, um, uh, in Electronic City area in Bangalore. And I'm certain that you will see more and more announcements as far as the Southern markets are concerned. So our goal is going to be definitely to make sure in south we consolidate our position and in the west we expand our position uh, while we have now started to explore ncr and we are hoping that in next two years to three years time frame we'll start expecting some contribution coming in from the ncr region all right uh, well abhishek thank you so much uh, for giving us those insights on purvankara and thank you so thank much, you much for taking our time and speaking with us at ndtv profit uh, but with that we're completely out of time on this edition of small mid cap show but keep watching ndtv profit for more news and updates